Hello all, welcome to Keisha's Gossip and Truths. In this video, I will be talking about the real reason why Jennifer Lopez and Mark Anthony split. Did he cheat? Did she cheat? Let's talk. Okay, first of all, we all know that Mark and Jennifer met at work. Jennifer was on one of his tracks or videos, and he was on one of hers. They dated briefly back between 1998 and 1999. During this time, Jennifer was messing around with her ex-husband, Ajani Noah, for about a year between 1997 and 1998. Then, after the promo tour and hype were completed and died down for the late Selena Kithany Perez documentary, Driven Jennifer wanted a record deal, so she was like, Sean Combs can do it. Heck, he's failed me. So she hopped on that opportunity quickly, and that was between 1999 and 2001. But the shootout happened and she was already messing around with her backup dancer, Chris Judd. At the same time, in the year of 2001, she married Chris Judd. Oh, I'm not done yet. While she was messing around with Chris Judd and later divorcing him in 2002, she also went public with Ben Affleck that same year. This fake relationship lasted until 2004. You see, Ben knew that Jen was an opportunist and was just using him for the image and fame only. Heck, his mother told him so. Ben's mother knew Jennifer didn't love him like that. I mean, how? So, yes, Jennifer is a... Oh, I'm not done yet. Because confused, Jennifer was literally jumping from dick to dick to man to man, opportunity to opportunity for about seven years nonstop. Heck, married two of them and it was gauged to one. Hell, she makes the late Elizabeth Taylor and Marilyn Monroe look like saints. Because horny Jennifer wasn't done yet. You would think after all of this, she would take some time and focus on herself. Nope. After hearing that Salsa King Mark Anthony was married but acting single, she hopped on that stick quick yes. Which was during her split from her ex-fiance Ben Affleck. Ben's mother was right. Heck, it was told that Jennifer wanted to be a Hollywood power couple with Ben Affleck like she was with Sean Combs. So while Mark Anthony was getting his divorce from former Miss Universe Diana Nara Torres in 2004, horny Jennifer and Mark were getting it. Yeah, she was messing around with a married man while still fucking with Ben Affleck. I guess karma caught up with her. Anyway, they married that same year. She broke up with Ben in 2004 and Mark's divorce was finalized with ex-wife Diana Nara Torres. I mean, the ink wasn't even dry yet. And Mark and Jennifer got married. And then four years later, in 2008, after years of trying to get pregnant and later while doing in vitro and fertility drugs, they welcomed twins, Emma and Max. Hey, great genes, right? Then they shared a few more years of what appeared to be a happily wedding bliss. I mean, they were living nice. Jennifer came up with Mark. I mean, she had her own money and things of that nature, but she was barely 10 years successful in the music world at the time. While married to Mark Anthony, who can sing his ass off and is part owner of the Miami Dolphins. Now, I'm talking about 2009. I'm not sure if he's still on partly of that uh, team. I don't, I don't know. Whereas they were regularly photographed living glamorously around town in magazines, etc. And their fans was throwing in parades and they were being invited to upscale and royalty places. Oh, yes. During and after the release of one of my favorite sauce and movies, Il Conte. Something happened before or during, I'm not sure. Whereas I think Mark did a great job in that movie, by the way. He's a great actor. However, at the end of the day, realization kicked in. Rumors started to flow and that's when they had to explain the story. Well, let me reword that. They had to denounce the rumors. I mean, who would admit to cheating and being a contracted couple for fame and kids? Who would admit that? Well, for the past seven years, Jennifer Lopez and Mark Anthony have been one of Hollywood's hottest couples. But six weeks ago, they announced that they would be ending their marriage. Tonight, in a Nightline exclusive, Mark Anthony speaks out for the first time since their announcement to ABC's John Quinones. Wish me luck. Oh. Mark Anthony is hitting the road as often as he can these days. The highway and his new bike are a kind of escape. Well, this is a new bike? Yeah, it's nice beautiful. beautiful. Thank you, beautiful. man. I love it. She's really good to me. An interesting choice of words, given his recent separation from Jennifer Lopez. It's too late. It's too late. Uh, it's too late. 
the sexy high voltage superstar and the king of salsa announced six weeks ago that they're splitting up and mark has refused to talk about it until now do you want this divorce you know it, it's a it, it's a decision that we made jointly and that's how i'll answer that what can you tell us about what went wrong in the marriage? I'll tell you that it wasn't, you know, some, some sensationalistic happening. Infidelity. No, absolutely not. Nothing sensationalistic. He's baffled and angry, he says, at the tabloid reports that he broke up the marriage with affairs. It was the flight attendant. It, it was the flight attendant. It was the pilot, I heard. It, it was this guy sitting next to me in a rehab in Houston, and I've heard it all. There's some ugly rumors out there. The most difficult of all, he says, rumors of an affair with Jada Pinkett Smith, wife of Will Smith and his co-star on the TV show Hawthorne. It's a rumor that the Smiths, like Mark, have denied. When something like that happens, it's, it's laughable. We were laughing, we're like, wow, because we've been friends for years. Jada, Jennifer, me, him for, for years. What bothers me is the effect it has on family to Will and Jada circle and their children and their relatives and their loved ones. The reason for Mark's breakup with Jennifer Lopez was much simpler, he says. Their marriage just no longer worked. It was a realization on both our parts, so, you know, it wasn't shocking. These things happen. These things happen. What do you tell Max and Emmy uh, three years ago? You know, ago? we're, we're, we're um, I'm always going to be daddy. You understand what I'm saying? And, and, and they're used to me traveling and Jennifer traveling and, uh, you know, we Skype all the time and, and uh, you know, trying to maintain that presence. They're still young, you know what I mean? Do you love Jennifer? I'll always love Jennifer. Yeah. I'll always love Jennifer. She knows that. But the important thing is that she knows that. As for Jennifer Lopez, she had the biggest single of her career this year. And her success as a judge on American Idol led tabloids to claim he was jealous and controlling and that it put a strain on their marriage. But you could never tell by this performance on the show's finale in May, less than two months before they separated. I watched you when you sang and she danced on American Idol. You saw that, right? Oh, yeah. that was magical. Yeah. It's not the end of that. It's not, this is not a funeral. This is not a burial. This is not, you understand, this is just uh, two people who came together and just realized, you know what I'm saying, that, that it wasn't sustainable the way it was, and, and, and that's that. But it wasn't one thing. It wasn't American Idol. It wasn't her working out there. It wasn't... You know, I think anybody will tell you, you know, how I supported her, you know, from day one. We're going to be in each other's lives for many, many, many years, and, and I'm glad that our friendship is that strong. You know what I mean? Because uh, uh, that's what I think what would make it difficult is if we didn't get along. Especially difficult given their work together on projects like Que Viva, their upcoming Latin talent show. And you and Jennifer would work together on it? Of course. We, we, we met working together. I, I don't know what people think. Yeah, absolutely no question. We're, 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 we're partners for life. It won't be awkward working with her? No. Being Puerto Rican, born and raised in the streets of New York, you know, you go, wow, you're still friends with your ex, man? Really? That, that's weird. What? That's, dude, that's, um, I don't play that. Make no mistake, Mark Anthony is a megastar in his own right. He sold more than 13 million albums worldwide, in Spanish and in English. He's been in movies, like Martin Scorsese's Bringing Out the Dead. And now Mark is also a fashion designer. He and Jennifer have each unveiled a brand new clothing line for Kohl's department stores. Everything you're wearing is from this line. I would wear absolutely everything, and I swear by it. The only difference is that it probably would have been a thousand bucks more. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and believe it or not, Mark is also a minority owner of a professional football team. Miami Dolphins. Did Mark Anthony cheat? Well, believe it or not, he did after finding out she was messing around with another one of her backup dancers, Casper Smart, whom she later went public with the same year Mark and her divorce was finalized in 2011. And that 
very well acted and played out interview she did was all acting. And she even wrote a lovely love going wrong book to validate and explain herself. It was revealed by sources of Mark finding out she was messing around with Casper and had broken his heart. He didn't want to be around her ass anymore. The sight of her made his heart hurt, even though he was still in love with her. So yes, he did mess around with Marty Jada Pickett Smith, and yes, they would take this truth to their graves. I mean, this was around the time Jada was claiming to be a sex addict and them co-starring in the TV series Hawthorne together, and Mark and Jennifer were going through a divorce. Oh, and there's more. Going back to Horny Jennifer, going public with Casper in 2011, that lasted until about 2016. But it was leaked that she was also messing around with pro dancer with the stars Max King Shemarkovsky, I may have mispronounced his name, in 2014. Yes, yeah, she was sleeping with Casper and Maxine off and on at the same time. Later in that year, 2016, Casper and she finally split. And it was rumored she got with Drake later on that year in 2016, and they dated until 2017. She then hopped on to serial cheater metrosexual Alex Rodriguez that same year in 2017. So now 51 years old Jennifer may have to settle for 45 year old A-Rod, who was rumored to be using her to improve his image and also enjoy the life of being one of Hollywood top couples, finally, right? I mean, two narcissistic people who care more about their appearance and image could be a match made in heaven. Despite the rumors of A-Rod cheating and his trust issues, I mean, he's always backstage during most of Jennifer's performances. He knows Jennifer has a soft spot for dancers like herself. Meanwhile, Mark Anthony hasn't been able to move on or trust anyone since Jennifer. He jumps into relationships and I believe one marriage that ended in divorce and then buries himself with work. Where would Jennifer and Mark end up? Well, I think Jennifer needs to get some help because it's apparent she wasn't in love with any of these men, right? She may be in love with Alex, but being afraid of lonely can have you put up with some crazy crap. So who knows? And Jennifer has admitted she's scared of being alone. She has. Mark, on the other hand, will continue to bury himself with work and maybe one day he'll settle down. I just hope Whoever he ends up with doesn't want any kids because it's obvious Mark doesn't want any more kids. But maybe that would change. Wow. I wasn't expecting to find this out. Seriously, I wasn't expecting this. I was so blown away and I feel somewhat deceived. I mean, she had more men than Elizabeth Taylor and Marilyn Monroe. But she still gives off this image of being so innocent. This isn't healthy. All of the overlapping like this. Was she in love with any of them? I mean, and then she having people believe Mark cheated when she was doing the cheating? Heck, she even got on TV crying and wrote a freaking book. Oh, and for the life of me, I couldn't figure out her connection slash friendship with the Kardashians. I just thought because they in Hollywood, you know, Kardashians. No, that couldn't be it. Now I know. Birds of a feather flock together. Well, that's it. Let me know your thoughts below. On that note, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And hit that bell so you get notifications when I do post more videos. Love you all. See you all later. Bye.